Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Pod. Welcome to Podcast 4.1, where we learn how to name, 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 and use those things we've got. So let's go ahead and get started, arted, arted. Is that really even a word? I don't even know. Okay, ionic compounds are made of positive cations and negative anions. So how do we know this? Well, imagine you got yourself a cat here. All right, see the cat? A little whiskers. Well, cats have paws. So cat ions are positive. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, positive ions are found on the periodic table. So plus one, plus two. Plus three, so and these spots right here. Um, and H4 positive is the only other positive ion we will use. Okay, so you should know from the periodic table that these guys are positive three, these guys are positive two, these guys are positive one, and then on our sheet, I told you zinc is plus two and silver is plus one, and that's pretty much it. Okay, um, the blue region has multiple positive charges that are indicated by Roman numerals. So I'm going to change this charge a little bit. My pencil a little bit in case I do this. Uh, indicated by a Roman numeral. So all Romans have a plus two as one possibility. All Romans for us have plus two as, not has, as one possibility. And then labeling them isn't very hard. Chromium plus three is chromium three. If I had chromium two, this might be hard for you. Chromium two, it would be Cr plus two. Oh, Lead plus two is lead Roman numeral two. Tin Roman numeral four is SN plus four. So, by the way, tin is like right around here. Chromium, eh, I'm going to write it really big so I'm right. Oh, should be a little R. Chromium somewhere around there. And lead is down around tin somewhere. Okay. Uh, that's that. Negative ions that end in ide are on the periodic table. That means they don't have oxygen. So, we've spent a little bit of time trying to learn our ions. Um, but... If you look at the periodic table, if it's just one element, S negative 2 is sulfide. Sulfate is SO4 negative 2. Sulfite, its close brother, is SO3 negative 2. Notice how it doesn't end in IDE. So over here, if I had F, it would be fluoride for F negative 1. Chloride for Cl negative 1. But if I had ClO3 negative 1, that's not chloride. Pretty soon you'll know that's chlor eight, just like the turkey I ate. Ah. <laughs> um, back over here. I remember this as I'd like to have oxygens, but I don't. Ionic compounds have a charge of zero because their charges cancel out. That's the whole idea. Sodium chloride is NaCl and not NaCl2 because the charges balance with NaCl. Na plus 1 and, it, and Cl minus 1, those balance out, right? Plus 1 minus 1 equals 0. Barium chloride is BaCl2. So do you see how barium is plus 2? So it would take two negative 1s to cancel out a plus 2. Okay. Aluminum chloride is aluminum plus 3. Chloride minus 1. So it will take three of these guys three to make a negative 3. So it's going to be AlCl. Notice how it goes down here. Three. Magnesium oxide is that one over here. Mg is plus two. O is minus two. See how those balance out already? So it's just Magoo MgO. Sodium oxide is Na plus one. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. How did I get these charges again? Oh, I got to look for aluminum and chlorine just so I can show you. Ba -na 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 -na. Aluminum plus three, chloride minus one, magnesium in the plus two column. Okay. So remember I said the periodic table will tell you those? Hopefully you remember those, but if not, that's okay. Oxide is O negative two. So it's going to take two sodiums to cancel that out. I'm looking at Na2O. Two plus ones will cancel out those negatives. Do not leave the charges hanging above it. Aluminum sulfide is Al plus 3. S negative 2. Oh, those don't equal. Oh, I got to make them equal. Oh, so if I did this super slow, right now plus 3 and minus 2 do not balance. Minus 2, minus 2, that's minus 4. Aluminum plus 3, I need more positives. 
So now I have plus 3, plus 3 is plus 6, minus 2, minus 2 is minus 4. So now I'm at minus 6. I've got to collect these terms now. Woo. How many aluminums do I have? Dos. How many sulfurs? Tres. There you go. What if we give you the formula? If I give you AlCl3, you just name the parts. Al, aluminum. Cl, remember it's got to end in I, right? If it's just one element, so it's aluminum chloride. MgO, magnesium. O, just one thing by itself, oxide. Magnesium oxide. Charges come from the periodic table and the ion list. Oh, man, here it comes. NH4. Oh, double doggies. I, think I, I thought I threw an ion list here. I did. NH4 is ammonium. Right? So when I see NH42SO4, I see that's going to be ammonium. And when I see SO4, I look at my little ion list again. SO4 is sulfate. So I'm looking at ammonium sulfate. Okay. So the reason you can see already how memorizing these, you at least if you know that NH4 is on the list, you can go to the list and find that. Roman metals must include the Roman numeral in their name. So if I have FeCl3, it's made of iron with some charge and chloride. Why is it some charge? Well, let's look at our periodic table, and our old friend iron is, whoops, right around, oops, it's not letting me write. That's not quite what I wanted to do. Ah, I just crashed my computer. Hey, let's see. All right, so iron is right around here. So that means it's in the I don't know it's charge category. So what that means is i got to figure it out. So the charge is balanced. We know that. Okay, and it's FeCl3. So if I have Cl3, Cl negative 1, Cl negative 1, Cl negative 1, that's what Cl3 means, right? That means together that's negative 3. Iron has to cancel out a negative 3. So iron's plus 3. So that means to name Fe plus 3, it's going to be iron Roman numeral 3. Okay. So if I have sodium and I have chloride, it's sodium chloride. If I have magnesium and I have hydroxide, it's magnesium hydroxide. How'd you know hydroxide? You're memorizing those ions now, don't you? Ooh, I love me some hydroxide. All right, examples. Al is aluminum. Aluminum. Does aluminum need a Roman numeral? Let's take a looky looky baked a new cookie. Aluminum is right here in the always plus three column, so I don't need to give it a charge. So I got aluminum, and then Cl is chlor. Ooh, is it chlorate, chlorite, or chloride? There's no oxygens. Chloride. Ide because there's no O's with Cl. Okay? Na. Na is sodium. I know that one's in the always plus one column. CO3, double doggies, man. I don't know what that is. Okay, I do. CO3 is carbonate. Sodium carbonate. Na, hey, that's sodium again. This is just one element. So nitrogen, but I got to make it end in ide. Nitride. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. K2O. K is potassium. P-O-T-A-S-S-I-U-M. Is potassium in that blue region where I need a Roman numeral? Nope. Potassium is always plus one. Whee! So I don't need a Roman numeral. And then I just need to add O oxide. Boom. All right. Here it's kind of nice. You got some coppers here. Copper is Cu, not C-O-C-U. Copper is plus 2. How would you know that? It's one of those questionable ones. That tells me right there. Nitrate. I wish I knew my ions better. I do. N-O-3 negative. Now, when I do this, do you see how I need a nitrate and I need another nitrate? I need two negative ones to cancel that. The way that's going to look is Cu 
N03, and it's read taken twice. Taken twice. Taken twice. Because I have two nitrates. Copper one nitrate. Now, copper one nitrate says this time copper is only plus one. And nitrate is still NO3 negative one. All that balances right away. C-U-N-O-3. Okay, get ready for a hard one. I'm ready. I'm ready. Lead, PB, four, plus four. Carbonate, we had carbonate, really carbonate, up here before. Carbonate is CO3 negative two. I just want to show you CO3 negative two. And you see it takes two carbonates, two negative twos to balance a plus four. PB, CO3, take it twice. Okay. V2O5, V is vanadium, vanadium. Now vanadium is somewhere, oh my fuzzy goodness, vanadium is somewhere right around here, okay? That means I need a Roman numeral for it. Arg, but I don't know what it is. So here, I know that oxygen is negative two. So five times negative two, is going to be negative 10. So these two vanadiums equal negative 10 or cancel out the negative 10. So that means if vanadium is plus 5, if vanadium is plus 5, and I just wrote plus 2, if vanadium is plus 5, 2 plus 5s and 5 minus 2s will give me 10. And then O, of course, is oxygen. And that is it, my friends. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. I think that's it. Yeah, what, what? Next one coming up. I will say this to you. Gobble, gobble, toodles, toodles. Bye, bye, bye. Oh.